everybody welcome back to the channel and today we are actually going to be well this is part three of building the tesla dealership all right so today we are actually going to be doing the service center in the back so let's go and of course yes i have the steve skin i lost my other skin so sad okay so back here this is where we're going to build the service center. It's going to be going kind of like outwards like this. So it's going to be 19 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then we go by 16. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then we're just going to cut it right here. And then what we're going to do is just kind of clear all this out. Just as usual. Just clear all this grass out. done because I've noticed a lot of you like my Tesla build of uh, the Tesla factory so this is a Tesla dealership uh, let me know down in the comments if you want me to do a Tesla factory build and I can show you guys how to make that okay so next we're going to need is stone and then we're just going to kind of line it with stone. But yeah, if you guys want me to build the Tesla factory instead of the dealership, let me know down in the comments. Not just any Tesla factory, but like my working one. We can actually make it working. Um, and I'm almost tempted to make it so it would actually build the cars instead of just horses. So yeah, I guess we can do that. Yeah, I think I think we could do it. Not a problem. So yeah. Hope you guys this day is going great. So yep. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna get our lovely white concrete. And honestly, just kinda outline the back. Outline it. Okay, there we go. Same thing on this side. Because how they're going to go is they're going to go around. Um, basically park them in the front and then they're going to allow them to drive around to the front. Well, the back in this case. The front's right here. So... And then what we're going to do is we're going to go and just make this long pillar. And then we're going to make it four blocks. One, two, three, four. And then on the fifth one, go up. Then one, two, three, four. Fifth one, go up. One, two, three, four. Fifth one, go up. There we go. And then right here we have kind of like the employee door. So we're just going to leave that. And then we're going to make it. So it looks like this, and there. And now we're going to add some uh, black stained glass. So in the back, I just think black and white looks very modern. So there we go. Perfect. And then if you guys want to make some designs, I like sea lanterns and then some oak trap doors. So then I could just go right here, make it like that, like that, and like that. And one over here too. Okay. And then I just put it on. And there we go. And then one on this side too so it doesn't look weird. Okay, there. That's how I like it. Um, and then we're going to get our white concrete. And we're going to go in here. And just layer 
the doors except this one okay and there and then we're going to get our court pillar or pillar quartz whatever you want to call them and just put them right here so they look like garage doors Q, Q. no no I messed up on that one okay perfect so there's that and now they look like garage doors okay so now we're going to use our sea lanterns anyway and we are going to go yeah we're going to go long ways like this so every other one okay we're going to go every other one cool Keep going. Just up and down. Cool. And now what we're going to do is we are going to fill this in right here. Right in between. doing that all right and there we go and then we're going to use the white concrete and just cover the sea lanterns I use sea lanterns because they look like commercial lights so yep that's why I use them Okay, Q. Awesomeness. Cool, there we go. And now for an additional look, we are going to go around, we're going to go in the front and just have that little art, um, that little cover. So there we go. That's the service center. Not done yet. Now you have to go on the inside. So if you go on the inside, you see there's three of these. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to add red lines. We're gonna have. We're going to make it so it's kind of like mm, about two. Okay. This goes kind of like do not cross here, if that makes sense. Let's see where the bays are. Okay. And then right here, too. Cool. There we go. And what I like to do is I like to put in some black stained glass. This is your choice. Um, and just kind of block it off. Like this. Okay. And then what I also like to do is I like to add some slabs. So it looks like when the car comes in, actually, hang on, let's move it over so it's not against the wall. There we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, there's that. And then, because if you ever see like an auto body shop, they have a little pit in the middle of it. So we're going to do that. And of course, Teslas don't need oil. They don't need oil, they're electric. But let's say the battery pack is um, malfunctioning or whatever. You kind of want to uh, get that checked, if you know what I mean. Okay, so there's that. And usually there's only one way in and one way out. So if we go down here, you can see on top of the car. So basically it's just two down. See like this. And I usually just add slabs to make it look good. And then what I like to do is I like to just make it look as good as possible, if that makes sense. So... 
You know what? I actually kind of like that bedrock. So let's use bedrock. Okay, so get bedrock out and just kind of line the entire thing. Well, now if there's like a TNT explosion or whatever, you guys will be safe. Because you're coming kind of down here. I think in Oklahoma they use these sometimes to stay safe um, if there's like a tornado or whatever. Smart. It's smart. So yeah, let's do it to all three of these. I just don't want to make it look as modern as possible, but at the same time, this is like a, um, it protects you at the same time. Like if there's like a TNT explosion or whatever, you just hide one of those. And then the last one, this one I didn't put any stairs on yet, so it'll be a lot easier. Cool, cool. Okay, and then we're going to add this there. Alrighty. Basically, just go onto the car and you can do whatever. Just make sure your head's not chopped off. And there we go. There's that. Um, and now we are actually going to be adding just kind of like the finishing touches, if that makes sense. Basically, white stained glass. No, I mean black stained glass and white concrete. So, it will go like this. Oh, it doesn't matter. Cool, cool. And basically, what I'm trying to do is I want to make, like, personal bays. So, in case, like, something happens... It doesn't affect the entire shop. So we're going to add black stained glass. There we go. And I'm going to do that to every side. So there we go. I remember when um, Minecraft didn't have any uh, different color glasses. Like that was. When they came out with that, I thought I was impressed. Let's just say that. I was very impressed. Okay, there we go. And of course, we're going to leave this open for ventilation. And yes, these do have air conditioners. We're going to add the air conditioner units, units up there in a moment. So, yep. Alrighty. And of course, just add a little area. And it goes right through the break room. Right into the air right into the the shop. And then of course if you guys really want to, you guys can cut all this out. Do whatever. This this is all up to you. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to, you guys can just honestly make it how you want. Like, you can make it so it's uh, black concrete and it's like a car or whatever. That's what I need to do personally because you know, I think it's better. But yeah, it's kind of like a Tesla service center. So yeah, that's kind of it. Right now we're just going to make our little areas. Because I think every Tesla dealership, except like the small ones like in the mall or whatever, should have a service center. 
because think of it, a lot of people are getting Teslas now and they have a lot of maintenance and I don't think you want to drive all the way to Fremont and you know, get your Tesla worked on. So the closest uh, Tesla dealership, I think, I think it's in Rockland. Yeah, I think the closest one's Rockland. That's like 30, 40 miles away. Yeah, it's pretty far. But actually, yeah, I think, it, yeah. It's just what it is. Well, there we go. Now, we have the service center. Well, guys, that's going to conclude this build for today. Be sure to like and subscribe to all three of my channels. And a big announcement. We are actually going to be uploading every single day. Every single freaking day. So, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe and don't miss anything about that. So, anyways, see you guys in the video. Peace out.